What up, what up, what up? This is Star with Stars Empress Wisdom. How you doing? If you're returning to my channel, mwah, 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 welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a Twin Flame love reading. It's going to be um, for the month of November for the Twin Flame Collective. If this resonates, please like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Sorry about the ambulance, guys. Hope everyone's all right. Um, so yeah, if this resonates, please like, share, subscribe. If it doesn't, that's okay. No worries. Um, this message may not be for you or it may not be for you at this time. Um, yeah, so take what resonates, leave the rest for the birds, all right? So I already did a um, pre-shuffle for you guys. Um, and I got some stuff. So for the both of you guys, for Divine Masculine and Feminine, I got freedom for um, this next, uh, for Mercury Retrograde, basically. You guys are both going to need to be um, practicing freeing yourself from situations that no longer serve you, freeing yourself from toxicity, freeing yourself from toxic relationships, situations, things like that, before you move on into the new year. Um, so I feel like a lot of you are going to be both divine masculine and feminine are going to be becoming free from, you know, certain situations, financial freedom. Um, and like I said, freedom from toxic relationship situations, places like that. So, um, and then specifically let's get into what divine masculine and feminine need to free themselves from at this time or for the month of November, which will be during Mercury retrograde. Uh, and it is Scorpio season as well. Happy birthday, Scorpios. All right, so what does the divine masculine... Oh, let me ask first. What does the divine masculine need to free himself from for the month of November? Okay, could be a home situation. Equal give and take at a home situation. So maybe the divine masculine... Um, needs to start helping out more at the house um could be financial it could be actual work stuff like that if uh, the divine masculine and feminine are living together or it could be that the divine masculine is freeing himself from a uh, past home like a family home moving out of the home with family you know parents siblings and i feel like um divine masculines are working on finances so that they can get a home and I feel like they are getting good results, um, but maybe they have had non-committal energy towards the divine feminine in the past, and I feel like that could be an issue. So uh, basically consistency, consistently making sure they're taking care of responsibilities and things like that in order to... Um, in order to have good results at home or, or for getting a new home, okay? Yeah, because in the past, I feel like the Divine Masculine may have been a bit cowardly, may have been focused, overly focused on money, greedy. Um, yep, and that made him hot-tempered, reckless. I think that's something he's going to need to watch out for, free himself from being hot-tempered and reckless, and free himself from being greedy, and free himself from being cowardly, and free himself from non-committal energy. Um, and like I said, it could have been that he had to move out of a home in order to get good results, Okay. So that could be, uh, like I said, it could be a family home. It could have been like he got divorced and moved out of his the home, his home with his family or whatever the case may be. The divine masculine is needing to free himself from those things, you know, from the past, from and some of you I'm hearing that you could be um, your divine masculine could be trying to get a home for you or for you guys. But they may have been incons inconsistent with their efforts as far as like, you know, saving money, being responsible. They could have been over partying, over spending, just not really taking it serious. Right. So um, let's see what the divine feminine needs to release. I'm definitely hearing a lot of divine masculines may have had some anger issues and it was you know it could have been from uh that kept them up all also some of them were um unable to sleep 
but I feel like they were, uh, you know, you guys were being very materialistic, only focused on money instead of the actual connection with the Divine Feminine. And so it was more like just ignore her and ignore the connection until I can have enough money to feel good about, you know, me being in this connection. And that speaks about uh, worthiness. You shouldn't feel like your bank account makes you worthy as a person. And I feel like the Divine Masculine is going to have to free himself from those thoughts of feeling like money makes the man no, the man makes the money, you know, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, it may have appeared to the divine uh, feminine that he was being sneaky because he may not have been communicating or emotionally withdrawing or stuff like that because he was feeling like, I want to be a great marriage partner, <laughs> and it's best if I don't communicate right now until I can be a great marriage partner and basically, you know, until I'm rich, so basically I won't have love or a relationship or anything until, um, I'm rich and I'm, you know, stuff like that. But the Divine Masculine needs to know that he is worthy. Yep, stable income needed. So he's definitely been working on his coins. Maybe uh, lost a job looking for a new one. Definitely, I just saw 555, big changes on the horizon. So, um, yeah, definitely needs to uh, work on freeing himself from those past energies, past thoughts, past beliefs. Could have been brought on from family, you know, stuff like that. Just like holding on to relationships and things that no longer serve us just because, you know, society says so. Freedom. You know, you have to free yourself from bad toxic situations, from bad situations so that the good can come in. So let's see what the Divine Feminine needs to free herself from this November. Possibly being malicious, vindictive, childish, or it could be um, feeling this way about the Divine Masculine. The Divine Feminine could be Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, um, or have that in her chart. Yeah, it could be about a creative endeavor. So you may feel, Divine Feminine, you may feel like uh, the Divine Masculine is being childish and not working together with you in a certain project or something. And you need to free yourself from those thoughts. But some of you I am hearing were being vindictive and wanting to pay your Divine Masculine back. I also feel like you guys may need to free yourself from possibly um, an overbearing mother. Um, or it could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Or you may be, um, I feel like you guys may be a mother, some of you Divine Feminines, and you guys need to free up some more of your time for yourself. So you need to free up more time for yourself, for your own soul's growth and things like that. You don't have to always work yourself into uh, dis-ease. Alright, so what else does the Divine Feminine need to free yourself from? Um, okay, you may want to deny the offer from the Divine uh, Masculine because, you know, you're cold and bitter about, it could be about a mother. It could be about the Divine Masculine's mother. It could be about a baby mother. Um, you know, it could be that you feel like the Divine Masculine is being childish and vindictive or, um, not really making this stable commitment to you or this home situation with you because of a mother. So, um, you may need to free yourself from that, or if you can't deal with it, free yourself from it altogether. But I don't, I feel like most of you divine feminines do not want to cut off connections with your divine masculine. So cut off the idea of you denying the offer or saying that there is no offer because he's childish, he has a baby mama or his mama's in the way, and he's never going to come with no offer. Free yourself from those negative thoughts. Or it could be some of you guys have to free yourself from a malicious, vindictive, um, childish mother. And I'm s not to say that y'all mamas is childish or nothing. I'm just saying sometimes like when a mother is overbearing or wants their child to be with a specific person, it can, they can end up displaying qualities that are malicious and vindictive and a bit, you know, a little childish. Um, we all have that in us. So I'm not talking about the mamas. I love you mamas. I love y'all my mama too but I know that there has been times in my life where if I didn't like what you know you know I'm human where I didn't like things going on a certain way I could have become malicious or vindictive or if I felt like you know somebody was doing something I could have wanted to get him back or some shit like that it happens we're human so um some of you divine feminines are gonna have to free yourself from thinking negative thoughts about the divine masculine and being too cold and bitter towards him or um just feeling like they're going to continue to be a certain way because of a mother, baby mother, 
or because or maybe you feel like they don't want you because you're a mother okay so take that how it resonates let's go into oh a passionate new beginning oh he wants a passionate new beginning with you regardless and you probably want it with him <sighs> anyways all right so okay for the divine masculine this is what i pulled free spirit so this is what the divine masculine is going to need to be focusing on throughout mercury retrograde being a free spirit again freedom free spirit so the divine masculine is definitely going to be needing to understand that freeing himself from situations um past situations that were toxic not helpful no longer serving them there it's going to be helpful in, as far as their growth development their luck all of that is going to change once they become a free spirit and free themselves from attachments that they really don't have to keep themselves attached to um, you are a spirit in a body and your spirit knows the path. It has the map and all that. So go with your spirit, follow your heart, follow, you know, love, uh, allow the love between you and your twin flame to free you. Okay. So it says to be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment and to love without conditions. I feel like the divine masculine needs to know that no matter how far he goes, he's probably going to be connected to the divine feminine and he can free himself from her and that's fine. But it's it's an unconditional love that's between the two of them and that's why he feels like he can't separate from her he feels like oh i can't free myself from her because it's it's that uh that cord that you guys feel between each other and regardless you are still a free spirit you are still a free individual free spirit and you can do as you please okay so regardless of the connection um, it's, you guys are going to have that connection to our masculine, but you guys need to know that you are a free spirit. You have your own path, your own journey that you have to focus on and your own desires. And that's what you need to follow. All right. Um, and like I said, just making sure that throughout this Mercury retrograde during a time when everybody, every ex and their mama will come back divine masculine make sure you know that you are a free spirit and you are not tied down to anything. Okay. So, and also I'm hearing you have no limits either. You have no limits. There are no limits for you. All the constraints that you had in the past were from your toxic past. It's not for, it's not for your future. You are freeing yourself from that. You are free from that. This connection, this bond, this uh, twin flame journey is about freedom. Okay. Freedom for your spirits, freedom to love. So for the divine feminine, for you guys, Mercury retrograde, you guys are going to need to be focusing on love. I feel like a lot of divine feminines are terrified of love. I feel like um, there's been a lot going on. There's been a lot of third party situations in and out, energy, um, heartbreak, disappointment, all that. And I feel like the divine feminine is could be definitely tired of this uh, up and down with the divine masculine um, because he may be a free spirit. And she may feel like, hell, I haven't been able to keep hold of this relationship with him this whole time. I don't know. But. I feel like the, you know, the divine is going to be teaching the divine feminine about true love, unconditional love, that no matter what, no matter how far apart you guys, no matter how free you guys are from each other, there is an unconditional love and bond between the two of you guys that is greater than anything that really equals true freedom. Okay, that unconditional love that you guys have between each other, that is freedom. So um, the Divine Feminine, instead of reacting with fear, it's either fear or love. And I feel like you guys are going to be, you guys have been reacting from fear for a while, fear from being hurt again. But I feel like this Mercury Retrograde, you're going to be reflecting on love and how love was in the past. And you're going to see that this is not the love that you once had before. This is real love. Sorry about that. Yeah, so Divine Feminine's love is definitely going to be something that um, you are going to also be freeing your heart chakra, I feel like, for some of you guys. Um, freeing yourself from being cold and um, shut off to opening your heart again to love, you know, and allowing yourself to be open to this connection. So let's get some clarity about the recent past for the two of you so for the divine masculine oh that's too many for the divine masculine in the recent past divine masculine in the recent past seven of pentacles the 
five of swords. So I feel like the Divine Masculine was not using his intuition in the recent past. Um, could have been being reckless, hot-tempered, um, losing his shit a little bit. Could have been fighting because he was mentally confused, stuck, feeling like he couldn't make a decision. Um, possibly between uh, you, Divine Feminine, and others. You know, others that may have he may have already invested into. I feel like the divine masculine may have also saw how much the divine masculine has invested into the situation already, but there was conflict because there's other people. You know, there may have been other people involved in the situation. Um, but I feel like the divine masculine may not have been using his intuition in this situation. All right, let's clarify. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for the recent past for the Divine Masculine? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? I feel like um, this is a woman too. And I feel like the Divine Feminine may have also been investing and she felt like she was investing by herself. And the Divine Masculine may have uh, felt that and felt like that was causing conflict as well. But also some of you, it's just... Uh, yeah, so uh, I feel like the Divine Feminine was uh, invested in a passionate new beginning I feel like some divine masculines may have become a heartbreaker or some of you guys, uh, divine masculines wanted a passionate new beginning with the divine feminine, but there was a Gemini in the way heartbreaker. Uh, this is my Gemini card. Yeah. A bad, someone who may have, uh, been a bad investment for the divine masculine. Sorry about that. Yeah, so I feel like he definitely won a passionate new beginning, but there may have been possibly a Gemini or another um, Libra or Aquarius that was in the way, someone they made a bad investment of with in the past. But they did want a new passionate beginning with you, but they were not making a choice. So why is the Five of Swords here? Obviously because they weren't making a choice. Yeah, so I feel like somebody uh, could have been an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, could have been a mother. Somebody was, you know, being... Um, materialistic in this situation overly focused on money even though it was a new positive love situation could have been the divine masculine that was being materialistic and overly focused on money yeah and feeling like how can i you know take care of all this sorry let me clarify real quick yep conflict with a heartbreaker heartbreaker popped out again so definitely i feel like some of you guys uh divine masculines were dealing with the gemini who you have a toxic um connection to uh, the devil energy is what it says up here so i feel like there was conflict because of a heartbreak or because some of you it was a gemini that was in between the situation with the divine masculine and feminine some of you guys could have been aquarius or another libra and others of you the divine masculine was being a heartbreaker because he wasn't choosing on uh, investing in a passionate new beginning with the divine feminine he was more focused on um what was going on in his own world and things like that. So he became a heartbreaker to the divine feminine. And, um, yeah. And that was, that's what brought negative energy into the uh, situation. So let's go into, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, it was a karmic partner that was definitely causing conflict. So let's go into the divine feminine in the recent past here. Eight of Cups, the Divine Feminine was like, I'm about to walk away from this, free myself from this chaos. Yep, the Ten of Cups just flew out. She wanted to walk away and move towards emotional fulfillment. She knows her emotional fulfillment is the Emperor. But I feel like because the Emperor was dealing with his own drama at the time, I feel like the Divine Feminine... Um, uh, I feel like the Divine Feminine uh, wanted to boss up, basically, and, and get into emperor-like emperor, emperor -like mode and start a business, start, um, you know, some something to stabilize herself for emotional fulfillment. Um, and yes, I feel like she does want to, some of you Divine Feminines uh, walked away from the past, if you could see it that way, and you're walking towards your, uh, wanted to walk towards your emperor you know, your divine counterpart, because he is your emotional, you know, this was an emotional fulfilling uh, situation for you. And I feel like the divine feminine knew she needed to free herself from the past, from past situations, third party situations, uh, grief, trauma, childhood wounds, and all that in order to have uh, this beautiful situation, the emperor and the ten of cups. But let's see. So for the Eight of Cups, for the Divine Feminine, 
Oops, that's too many. All right, so um, some of you guys, some of you Divine Feminines may have walked away from an offer from the Divine Masculine um, because you want to move forward positively. Some of you guys walk towards the Divine Masculine af uh, after a um, love offer because, again, you wanted to move forward positively with them. I feel like some Divine Feminines also recently in the past were traveling or were considering traveling or waiting for the Divine Masculine to travel for a reunion. All right, why is the Ten of oh, Cups here? It's a wish come true. So the Ten of Cups here, the Divine Feminine knew this is a wish come true. I know this is my emperor. I know this is my twin. Um, I'm walking away from the past in order to, you know, go to my fulfill, you know, my wish fulfillment. The emperor, though. But I feel like there was some anxiety attached to the situation. Yep, because there may have been an ending with a Taurus or an Aries. Or an ending overall. Um, yeah, I feel like there may have been an ending with a sudden ending with the Divine Masculine, possibly, after walking away from the past and going towards the Divine Masculine. Yeah, and you guys, I feel like you, the Divine Feminine, you know, opened her arms up to the Divine Masculine, and it was a wish come true. It was beautiful for two seconds, and then an ending. And it was because I felt like some of the Divine Masculines were not bossed up. They were not in their uh, Emperor, like mode and therefore they you know you guys may have needed a immediate break from the situation yep <clears throat> but you see that my masculine working hard you know he's moving slow and steady but he's coming towards you trying to get mentally stable trying to get out of depression um yeah but I feel like some of you Divine Feminines were like, fuck that. I'm not about to wait for this any longer because I walked away from the past to, to be in this happy situation with you. And then all of a sudden there's an ending because, you know, um, you weren't in your emperor-like mode. You weren't taking care of business. You weren't being a boss. You weren't ready to, you know, you know, basically start a legacy and come into union. So let's go into the next part. All right, so for the month of November, let's see what any uh, what is going to be going on for the Divine Masculine and then the Feminine, the <laughs> Feminine, Mercury Retrograde starting. So um, for the Divine Masculine, let's get three cards of energy for November. Dropping Heartbreak could also be dropping a... Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, moving forward positively, possibly with the Divine Feminine. Uh, there's some deception here. I feel like it may not be lies. It may be like just having to sneak away from a situation or, you know, sneak away from uh, a tower. All right, so let's go into what's going to be going on in the month of November for the Divine Masculine. Why? So we're dropping heartache. That's what I feel. Um, or there may be some heartbreak because someone is only fo focused on money. But let's check. All right. Yep. Dropping heartbreak for some good news and celebration. Um, the Divine Masculine could be celebrating with you, Divine Feminine, because he loves you. And he's dropping the heartbreak from the past. Um, you know, everything that went on recently with you guys in the past. So in the month of November, um, again, the Divine Feminine could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in her chart, be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But there is going to be celebration um, between the two, two of you guys after good news um, for the month of November. You guys are going to, um, yeah, I just feel like celebration after the release of heartbreak of a possible third party situation from the recent past. Doesn't have to be a third party situation though. It could have just been that heartbreak needed to be dropped in this situation in order, you know, or the Divine Masculine needed to drop heartbreak in order to celebrate good news that came in or come is coming in. So let's see why the Six of Swords is here for the month of November for the Divine Masculine. All right, moving forward to a new beginning in love. So, definitely feel like um, you, Divine Feminine or Masculine, could be uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Because that's all I see is air and water up here right now. 
So, um, or the Divine Masculine could have air and uh, water in his chart, or Capricorn towards Virgo. But I feel like you guys are going to be moving forward positively of a new beginning of love, a new leap of faith, um, you know, after there is some good news to celebrate. So, and after heartbreak is uh, was released and dropped. All right, so there may be some deception from a soulmate coming in who may want to start a fight. So be wary of that divine masculine. It could be a karma, it could be family, it could be friends, it could be whoever. But somebody wants to come in to start a fight. Or um, divine masculine, I feel like advice is you may have to sneak away quietly and do what you do from a soulmate because they're just going to cause fighting for you they just want to fight yep they just want to um compete have they want to involve themselves in competition drama whatnot um yeah it could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo or it could be uh the divine feminine may have somebody come back from the past that is a capricorn taurus virgo that is being sneaky because they want to cause a fight you know um like i said it could be capricorn taurus virgo but or it could be a ex ex soulmate coming in because they feel like um you're you know the divine masculine is being sneaky about finances about being stable um about a stable relationship with the divine feminine so yeah the divine masculine is definitely going to need to watch out in november for deception surrounding a soulmate let me get clarity about that a little further Two different lovers definitely could be um, an ex could, trying to come back in. Two, two, two. Someone doesn't want to see the truth. Someone may try to not want to see the truth. That a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sag is being immature. That could be you, Divine Masculine. Um, or it could be someone around you. Someone who is being malicious, vindictive, and childish about a situation. Um, it could be a mother. Uh, or it could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but it says mother here. So it could be a mother in the mix, too, that the Divine Masculine is not trying to see the truth about. Um, yeah, the Divine, uh, a mother who um, may want the Divine Masculine to deny a good offer, which is, I feel like, between the Divine Masculine and Feminine. Yep, she wants, somebody wants to hold on to a lover's triangle situation because somebody is greedy. Yep, somebody's being sneaky and greedy in a situation, and um, but I feel like a water sign is going to use their intuition about the situation, and they're going to make the right choice, regardless. So, but somebody, you're going to have to see the truth, Divine Masculine, about a situation, because look here, there is some sneaking and deception and lies from a soulmate. It's about two different lovers. Somebody's trying to hold, wants uh, to hold on to two different lovers. If that's you, Divine Masculine, I would advise to stop. Um, or if it's somebody from your divine, the Divine Feminine's past, you know, that's going to need to be watched out for. But I'm think I'm getting it's from the Divine Masculine side. Somebody wants to hold on. This could be an ex. It could be a fam. You know, family wants you know the Divine Masculine to stay with the ex or something like that. But overall. 222, two, two, the divine masculine is going to make the right choice. That's what it's saying here. And look at this 222. Two, two. So, even though this soulmate might try to be deceptive and keep the divine masculine in a third party situation, I feel like the divine masculine is definitely going to be making the right choice overall, anyway, and getting his ass out of that situation. Um, because, but he's going to need to be able to see the truth in the month of November, or it could cause an issue in this situation. Again, freedom is the biggest thing, you know, got to free yourself from toxic shit, from things that are deceptive, things that aren't, you know, that don't serve you any longer because <clears throat> we are moving forward. Okay. Let's go on to the divine feminine. All right. So for the divine feminine for the month of November. Queen of Pentacles, you're going to be sitting on your throne, boo-boo, getting your coins together. Could have Earth in your chart. Could have Virgo specifically in your chart. Um, I feel like the Divine Feminine will be going through a possible another awakening. Also, some of you guys may need to uh, look. Okay. Some of you guys maybe have Virgo in your chart. It could be health. Shining light on a health issue, a pregnancy, 
Um, it could be issues surrounding um, reproductive issues or something like that. And I feel like you guys are going to be uh, shining the light on that. Possibly finding fruits or some type of vegetables or something like that in order to heal that. That's for some of you guys. But, um, oops, sorry. Where was it? No, I'm not sure not. But yeah, uh, I definitely feel like some of you guys may. That's only for some of you. And it popped out again, Virgo. Um, yeah, you definitely could have Virgo in your chart, or some of you, I feel like you might be finding plants, uh, a diet, some type of something that it, you're going to be healed by spring if you change your diet now and start eating something different. That's what I'm hearing for some of you guys, okay? For the Divine Feminine. Because in it, it could be like a reproductive issue. You could have cysts or something like that. I feel like that will definitely help you guys out in the month of November. Is to eat more healthy. Eat vegetables, herbs. Alright, what else for the... And also, I feel like you guys are still going to be financially stable. Um, and also, paying attention to your coins more. Alright, for the month of November. Divine Feminine. For the month of November, what is this? Justice. Justice will be served in a situation, or you may be dealing with a Libra counterpart. So the divine masculine may be a Libra. Um, I feel like you will be getting justice from a situation dealing with a Leo Aries Sag. Yep, definitely could be a Leo. Someone who is in and out, someone who may be a joy seller, a fun sucker, or something like that. Someone who stole your joy. I feel like you will be getting justice in a situation about that. Someone who may have been blocking your messages or you may block them or whatever. Um, all right, let's go on for the month of November for Divine Feminine. Queen of Swords. All right, Libra, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini could be definitely dealing with a um, masculine Libra, Gemini. Aquarius, or it could be a significant Libra Gemini Aquarius in the picture that you may have to cut off. Um, I definitely see Earth, Libra, and Air. You will be, uh, I feel like you were struggling financially and you will be moving out of that, okay? Yep, you will no longer be in your head about your finances or about shit like that because you are going to be focusing on your coins the month of November, getting your coins straight, getting your health together, um, you know, and your dreams will be coming true. I feel like some of you guys may be dropping in Aquarius, uh, but that's just some of you guys out there. So Divine Feminine, let's see. Queen of Pentacles for the month of November. Queen of Pentacles for the month of November. All right, you may uh, be feeling alone. Um, you may have received some bad news or something like that, but um, do not feel defeated and do not feel alone. Even though, like, you may be spending, a, you know, a lot of time alone, it does, you know, don't don't feel like you're alone. Okay. Um, let me get some more clarity. Because even if you're, yeah, because look, good news is, gonna, you're going to get good news regardless. So this situation, uh, you will be in solitude for a little bit. You may have gotten some bad news, maybe in your head about it, maybe feeling like something bad may come of it, but it's not. You're going to have good news. You're going to have a reason to celebrate. And you will not be alone having to figure out your pinnacles by yourself. It will be healed. Justice will be served. Whatever you gave out, whatever money you need back, whatever money you uh, gave, the universe is going to bless you back with that abundantly. Um, but you may experience some solitude, and that's okay. You may be in solitude from your divine masculine for uh, throughout this time. Could be while he gets his coins together or something like that. Yep. So there will be justice as far as a new beginning, a leap of faith. It will be a positive outcome. You will have a positive outcome possibly with a Libra. Um, no more ego stuff. You guys are dropping all that and your lover is coming back to you, boo boo. Okay. So just trust that everything is going to work out. Yep. Don't be trapped in fear. Don't be trapped in fear. Okay. Cause your wishes will be granted divine feminine, the queen of swords. 
All right, so like I said, there may be a significant Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the Queen of Swords, um, who may be trying to compete with you, Divine Feminine. Um, and I feel like in the month of November, they are not going to stop competing you with you, Divine Feminine, because they see that you have a good relationship or are starting to have a good relationship with Divine Masculine, and they are going to come through and try to chop that shit up, okay? So, Divine Feminine, be wary of <laughs> someone also, like I said, for the Divine Masculine. I'm sure it's his ex, because if, you know, it was in his November as well, that there's going to be an issue with someone, you know, could be an ex, could be a family member, but I feel like it's definitely an ex that is uh, cold, unstable, could be talking a lot of shit, could be talking a lot of shit to the Divine Feminine, um, Divine Masculine, whoever, but somebody is trying to hold on to this, uh, you know, competition or whatever. Um, but you guys are going to be having a better relationship with the Divine Masculine. Okay? In the month of November. All right, let's see the energy between the Divine Masculine and Feminine for the month of November overall. Between the two, between Masculine and Feminine. What's going to be going on? All right, so... Definitely going to be some heartbreak regarding walking away from a situation. Could be the Divine Masculine has to walk away from immaturity. Could be an immature fire sign, Leo, uh, Leo Aries, Sag. That could be either Divine Masculine or Feminine. Um, but you guys are going to walk away. Whoever needs to walk away, if that's both of you, you guys are both going to walk away from heartbreak and from things that no longer serve you. This month, I feel like... Um, there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of love here could be a significant Scorpio Cancer Pisces um, either or that's in the divine masculine or feminine's heart. I mean, heart could be a lot of love in your heart, but I definitely feel like this could be either in your chart, divine masculine or feminine um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But there's definitely going to be a lot of love here. I feel like some you guys are going to be walking away towards love and stability and stable income and a stable reciprocal uh, reciprocative I don't know <laughs> stable uh reciprocated energy and that's finances as well so the divine masculine is going to be working on his finances feminine is going to be working on her finances it's going to be stable mutual so there's going to be a lot of love here and cry okay, after you guys walk away from heartbreak and walk away from things that no longer serve you people that no longer serve you situations that no longer serve you as soon as you walk away from that in the be in uh, towards the beginning of november there's going to be a hell of a lot of love a hell of a lot of stability and then we end it with the lovers okay but there is i feel like there's still going to be an immature energy trying to block the situation um so there is going to be stability and then i feel like you guys are going to come into union in the month of november and it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be stable and it's going to be loving but you guys have to make the choice to walk away from heartbreak um and also immature behavior or immature people could be a leo you guys are gonna have to have strength in order to free yourself again free yourself from these situations and I feel like for the Divine Feminine, she's going to need to open up her heart to love in order to be able to receive this abundance of love and this uh, reciprocated energy as far as like reciprocated finances, you know, you guys both being stable, stable relationships, stuff like that, um, a balanced relationship. Look, boom, that's all good. It's like it, it goes from, you know, heartbreak to walking away to love, stability and union. Okay. All you got to do is have strength and you will have this uh, higher level of commitment um, and also financial stability as well. But you guys have to free yourselves and divine feminine. You have to allow yourself to be loved and loved and the divine masculine has to allow himself to free himself from things that are toxic and no longer serving him. All right, let's get some advice for you guys to end for the month of November. All right, help me change my words to improve the quality of my life and the lives of those around me. So speak life, speak healing, speak positivity, uh, speak uh, positive affirmations, both of you, divine masculine and feminine, in order to better your situation and your circumstance so that you can create beauty instead of create chaos with negative thoughts and words, okay? So make sure you are... Um, in Changing your words, add in positive affirmations, you know, throughout your day or whatever. Um, get more creative and shit. So, all right, one more advice for the both. 
for divine masculine and feminine. All right, so your root chakra may be black, uh, blacked, uh oh, because <laughs> maybe by black magic, because that's crazy. So uh, yeah, you guys, root chakra may be blocked from black magic. Um, so you may want to like watch some Reiki or something like that. Yes, okay. So if you had a question, it's yes. So if you thought it was black magic, yes is the answer. But guess what? You have protection. Just be cautious of your surroundings. Okay, make sure you have tourmaline, rose quartz, all that good stuff, and follow your heart. You guys both are going to follow your hearts back to each other um, because you are meant for each other, right? Ain't that the twin flame thing? You know what I'm saying? All right, for yourselves. Later, loves.